The Luprolide Acetate Injection Depot, Luprolide Acetate for Depot Suspension, is a modular device for subcutaneous injection of Luprolide Acetate. Please watch the video in its entirety to fully understand the proper use of this device. This video will go over the approved indication, important safety information, product features, proper instructions for use of the device, additional important safety information, dosage, and administration. Luprolide Acetate Injection Depot 22.5 mg for three-month administration is indicated for palliative treatment of advanced prostate cancer. Contraindications Hypersensitivity Luprolide Acetate Injection Depot is contraindicated in individuals with known hypersensitivity to GnRH agonists or any of the excipients in Luprolide Acetate Injection Depot. Anaphylactic reactions to GRNH agonists have been reported. Please see additional important safety information at the end of this video. Reconstituting. Reconstitute and administer the lyophilized microspheres as a singular intramuscular injection. The suspension should be administered immediately after reconstitution. As with other drugs administered by intramuscular injection, the injection site should be alternated periodically. Visually inspect Luprolide Acetate Injection Depot Powder, white to off-white powder. Do not use the vial if clumping or caking is evident. A thin layer of powder on the wall of the vial is considered normal prior to mixing the diluent. The diluent contained in the pre-filled syringe should appear clear and colorless. Use only the provided diluent for reconstitution of luprolide acetate injection depot. Do not use other diluents. Finally, the reconstituted product will appear as a suspension of milky white color appearance. Luprolide acetate injection depot is packaged in a commercial kit. Each kit contains one vial containing 22.5 milligrams of luprolide acetate as lyophilized microspheres, one pre-filled syringe containing two milliliters of mannitol for injection, one backstop for use with the syringe, one mixed jet transfer device, including one needle. Preparation of mixed jet. In addition to watching this video, it is strongly recommended you also read the instructions in the package completely before you proceed. Wash your hands with soap and hot water and put on gloves immediately prior to preparing the injection. Preparing mixed jet reconstitution. Place the tray on a clean flat surface that is covered with a sterile pad or cloth. Remove the mixed jet device, the backstop, the pre-filled syringe containing the solvent for reconstitution, and the luprolide acetate injection depot vial. The entire device consists of the following parts, the plunger rod, backstop, syringe barrel, vial adapter, needle, a vial containing the medication with a flip-off button. Assembling the device. Remove the flip-off button from the top of the vial revealing the rubber stopper. Place the vial in a standing upright position on the prepared surface. Disinfect the rubber stopper with the alcohol wipe. Discard the alcohol wipe and allow the stopper to dry. Insert the backstop to the flange of the syringe until you feel it snap in place. Proceed to mix jet activation. Peel the cover away from the blister pack containing the vial adapter, mix jet. Do not remove the vial adapter from the blister pack. Place the blister pack containing the vial adapter firmly on the vial top, piercing the vial. Push down gently until you feel it snap in place. First, remove the cap from the syringe barrel, and then remove the blister pack from the vial adapter. Connect the syringe to the vial adapter by screwing it clockwise into the opening on the side of the vial adapter. Be sure to gently twist the syringe until it stops turning to ensure a tight connection. While holding the vial, place your thumb on the plunger rod 
and push the plunger rod in all the way to transfer the diluent from the pre-filled syringe into the vial. Do not release the plunger rod. Keeping the plunger rod depressed, gently swirl the vial for approximately one minute until a uniform milky white suspension is obtained. This will ensure complete mixing of luprolide acetate injection and the sterile mannitol solution diluent. The suspension will now have a milky appearance. In order to avoid separation of the suspension, proceed to the next steps without delay. Invert the mixject system so that the vial is at the top. Grasp the mixject system firmly by the syringe and pull back the plunger rod slowly to draw the reconstituted luprolide acetate injection into the syringe. Return the vial to its upright position and disconnect the vial adapter from the mixject syringe assembly by grabbing firmly the syringe and turning the plastic cap of the vial adapter clockwise. Grasp only the plastic cap when removing. Keep the syringe upright. With the opposite hand, pull the needle cap upward. Advance the plunger to expel the air from the syringe. The syringe containing luprolide acetate injection depot suspension is now ready for administration. The suspension should be administered immediately after reconstitution. After cleaning the injection site with an alcohol swab, administer the intramuscular injection by inserting the needle at a 90 degree angle into the gluteal area, anterior thigh, or deltoid. Injection sites should be alternated. Note, if a blood vessel is accidentally penetrated, aspirated blood will be visible just below the lower lock. If blood is present, remove the needle immediately. Do not inject the medication. Inject the entire contents of the syringe intramuscularly. Withdraw the needle. Once the syringe has been withdrawn, immediately discard the needle into a suitable sharps container. Dispose the syringe according to local regulations and procedures. Additional important safety information. The following adverse events are important to know when prescribing or administering luprolide acetate injection depot. Tumor flare. Luprolide acetate injection depot causes increases in serum levels of testosterone during the first weeks of treatment. Isolated cases of ureteral obstruction and spinal cord compression have been observed, which may contribute to paralysis with or without fatal complications. Transient worsening of symptoms may develop. Patients may experience a temporary increase in bone pain. Patients with metastatic vertebral lesions and or with urinary tract obstruction should be closely observed. Hyperglycemia and diabetes. Hyperglycemia and an increased risk of developing diabetes have been reported in men receiving GnRH agonists. Monitor blood glucose and or glycosylated hemoglobin HbA1c periodically in patients receiving GnRH. Cardiovascular diseases. Increased risk of developing myocardial infarction, sudden cardiac death, and stroke have been reported and should be evaluated carefully along with cardiovascular risk factors. Patients receiving a GnRH agonist should be monitored for symptoms and signs suggestive of development of cardiovascular disease and be managed accordingly. Effect on QT-QTC interval. Androgen deprivation therapy may prolong the QT-QTC interval. Providers should consider whether the benefits of androgen deprivation therapy outweigh the potential risks in patients with congenital long QT syndrome, congestive heart failure, frequent electrolyte abnormalities, and in patients taking drugs known to prolong the QT interval. Electrolyte abnormalities should be corrected. Consider periodic monitoring of electrocardiograms and electrolytes. Convulsions. Convulsions have been observed and should be managed accordingly. Laboratory tests. Monitor serum levels of testosterone following injection of luprolide acetate injection depot 22.5 mg for three-month administration. Embryo-fetal toxicity. 
Luprolide acetate injection depot may cause fetal harm when administered to pregnant women. Advise pregnant patients and females of reproductive potential of the potential risk to the fetus. Most common adverse events with incident rates of higher than 10% are hot flushes, upper respiratory infection, fatigue, diarrhea, polycuria, arthralgia, and injection site pain. Lactation. A decision should be made to discontinue breastfeeding or discontinue the luprolide acetate injection depot. Females and males of reproductive potential. Luprolide acetate injection depot may impair fertility in males of reproductive potential. Pediatric use. The safety and effectiveness of luprolide acetate injection depot in pediatric patients have not been established. Geriatric use. Hot flushes occurred with equal frequency in those less than or equal to 65 years of age. To report suspected adverse reactions, contact CIPLA at 1-866-604-3268 or FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or www.fda.gov slash medwatch. Please see the full prescribing information for additional important safety information. Dosage and administration. Luprolide acetate injection depot must be administered under the supervision of a physician. In patients treated with GnRH analogs for prostate cancer, treatment is usually continued upon development of metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. The recommended dose of luprolide acetate injection depot, 22.5 mg for three-month administration is one injection every 12 weeks. Do not use concurrently a fractional dose or a combination of doses of this or any depot formulation due to different release characteristics. You have completed the administration of luprolide acetate injection depot suspension using the Mixject system. Thanks for your attention.